Hello everyone, it's Fully Spaced. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your world. So I've got a few things in front of me here, just general simple things that are going to help improve your world. For those of you who are new to Minecraft and don't actually play the game as often, or have only recently got around to playing it, you probably don't have an idea of how to create such nice looking worlds, or maybe you do, but there's a few things missing, and those things that might be in this video that could help you help improve the look of your world and hopefully give you some ideas and you know just create a general nice world to play in and um you're kind of enjoying the game more um where ever since i started to learn how to create the world nice i always want my world to look the best it can so i always end up spending too much time doing that and it just gives you so much more um play time to the game because you always want things to be done and you go around spending a lot of time creating and making things that you probably wouldn't if you just generally played the game for the first time didn't really look at any videos and just kind of play by yourself you would probably majority of the time either build a normal base or just build one where a cave starts but yeah hopefully this few tips in this video will kind of help space out and give you some things in your world to fill up those blank spaces so i'm going to start off on the left hand side here which is custom terrain custom terrain is absolutely um it's not key to your Minecraft world, I will for sure say that, but it definitely helps improve the world itself. So creating custom terrain is um, a nice little thing you can do here. So as you see, uh, this is all completely hand build. We're in a flat world, so I have to create custom terrain in order to get a um, to get any of this generated in a flat world. Now, how I do this is basically create a frame. So I'm going to go like three, and maybe like a two, um, and then we'll go two again, and for example on this I could have my grass either on top of this uh, so let's just grab a grass and dirt block a second just so we can get a rough idea now I'd probably have something that looks like this although that gives you a very high gap here which means I could um, push this to the back like so and they're all kind of the same height now you don't need that you could always knock a few things down like so so you've got two two three for, an, for example uh, however I'm going to keep it like this actually raise that by one and then I'll raise that to there it goes three, three, two, two, and then basically from here you can create a frame across the top if you want to. Um, so you could go something like this and then bring it out or bring it in, for example. It goes like this, like so. So that gives you this curve around the edge. And then um, what you would do is kind of come down on the exact same side over here, um, creating that. That's again creating that frame, and then it's just kind of an, a chance of filling in your frame. So you go down. Uh, kind of choose the angles you want. It doesn't have to be exactly the same one to, uh, as it's you know a naturally classes and you could class as a naturally generated cliff. And then you're just going to kind of fill in this um, space and you're going to head along here. Now because this comes out further than these, you can obviously go down like two. Uh, if you wanted to, you could come behind it as well and bring it back like so, and then keep this one like that. It gives you these indents and things into the world. It's really up to you how you go about doing these things. Um, it's just a lot of playing and placing with blocks. It's nothing too hard. It does take a bit of time to get the right way everything looks, for example, like this. Um, and then once you've kind of done the, I would recommend just using stone and grass, get the whole, full thing built first. And then once you've done that, begin texturing it with different color kind of blocks. Um, cobblestone and andesite, for example, you can put ores in there, use slabs from stairs, get these really cool designs in. I've got coarse dirt and rooted dirt as well up here. Um, and then yeah you could um curve these around and eventually you can link up your whole terrain so i could link this to here and then make these giant cliffs and then eventually link them up to like a top point for example this could um, i could just expand this outwards and it could be like a giant circle that comes around just a flat circle and then you could just go around it filling in each side and then you would have a circle kind of hill that you can stand on top of and build a house on top so hopefully that would kind of give you a good idea of what possibilities are with terrain, custom terrain. Um, you can build giant mountains and things and then even put your base inside them as well. Um, that's the perks of building with custom terrain. Obviously with general terrain, you might not have enough space inside of a cliff to actually be able to build in it. So it's really up to you how you want to go about it. Now, once again, filling space here is a little, just a little wagon. Now, filling space in your world is key. You might not need a wagon, for example. This would be more for like a wild western town. Um, but it's a good one for filling space things like um for things like this wagon that we've got there this is quite a simple one to build uh there's plenty of images and things online of wagons you know different kind of um things so if you have something in your head but you're not sure how to build it google it 
um, and there'll be loads of different designs you can either use someone's design or just take inspiration from it and create your own version of it um, so that's the key you know Minecraft's been around for a long time and there's so much um, to learn there's so much things that people are good at building other people are really good at building um, you know modern builds or, or cars and things and, and a lot of people aren't up to scratch on that um, so you can use someone else's design you know alter it yourself create it and make it your own um, you can fill a space with simple things like barrels too um, so I've got barrels and looms here and what I've done is face the looms backwards into the barrels so they look like empty barrels and then uh, just place some lantern, a cactus and a pot on it um, just done a bit of terraining as well so once again talking of the terrain you can do the floor as well giving you, you know this custom walking and um, instead of just walking on grass you can walk from a mix of dirt pods or coarse dirt, rooted dirt um, well, obviously dirt will turn into grass eventually so I wouldn't recommend that but yes you can create cool paths which I'll show you in a minute um, and once again another thing to fill some space so we've got hay bales you can have these on the side of a road or in a farm and then we've you know using um, a little trick here with uh, coral you can have a slab with water under it so let's just grab a slab do I have another one yep there so what you do is place a bucket of water place the slab on the top half and you place the yellow on the coral fan which will um, then just keep its color because it's on a, uh, it's got water underneath it and then once that is done uh, you can you know kind of makes it look like fallen hay for example uh, which is kind of cool um, so I'd recommend you know using that as a little tip um, for example the using this around the hay bale gives that bit of fallen hay and you can use a frame of an egg in it as well to make it look like a chicken has laid an egg in it um, so yeah simple little things like that really help um, these, I'm not sure if this works on all versions of Minecraft I am using Java so sneak placing things on onto barrels only works on Java I believe so just take those into consideration too um, there are a few tips that only work on Java and not bedrock for some reason and vice versa so next up here is creating simple paths now I've done a video on this with five different path designs and you can create many paths um, you could have them going up hills down hills but because we're in a flat world I've just done flat paths so now now there's not really too much difference if you're going to do a path that raises you would literally just have something that goes along like this and you would just texture it the way you've done on the floor but it just has some slabs so you can just walk up it so it's nice and simple now uh, what I've done here is created a slab so I've gone free 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 and then kind of twisted it and twisted it so near enough every block is three blocks wide so you can just walk in and walk around like so and then I've got some fences uh, with some flowers well not flowers leaves on um, and a pot uh, not a pot a lantern to keep some light and just kind of honed in on the path so basically you don't really have any other option other than to walk on this path because there's other stuff kind of stopping you from going outside the region now this is a nice way to kind of if you're building maps for example to keep a player focused on just following the path instead of just walking off randomly and heading somewhere else so let's just take that into consideration but yes creating nice paths is one way to kind of brighten up your uh, your town your world and um, linking the paths and making them go from one place to another now you don't have to use things like trap doors it's really up to you i do have a video of five different path designs along with staircases i've got so many videos on ways to improve your world so feel free to look through my channel and find some of those they might help give you some inspiration now once again custom trees custom trees are really good um, i would recommend using german spare leaves they make the leaves bushy like this um, just a little recommendation for you guys um, so yeah creating custom trees is really good i would mean the general um, generation of minecraft trees isn't particularly great i mean there are a few trees that are somewhat okay um, for example i believe you can get is it spruce um, and you can get like a really cool well it's not really cool but i believe you can do something like this and you get this giant tree now it's not really cool you get pods a lot of it which is like probably the best thing of it um that was a horribly generated tree by those things is it, are they all like that i'm not entirely sure but yeah some minecraft trees are okay yeah i mean it's just horribly generated i would probably use these leaves and follow this around and create layers for example so you have like a giant kind of christmas tree looking thing so layers from like here here and here um, but yeah, so you got those um, trees. You do have some Minecraft trees that look okay. Normal spruce trees look fine to me. Um, not the best looking things, but they're still somewhat better than just using an oak tree. 
Um, but yeah, creating custom trees is simple, super simple and easy. So there's so many different variants of custom trees you can do. Uh, I generally just use this one a lot. It's just very simple. So you can do one that goes down like this. Using gems better leaves will just make this look a lot better as well. Um, so just as simple as that. So you have what these two extended further and this one is higher and higher. You could always fill in spaces on these as well if you wanted to, like so. Or you can have these ones I've got here that kind of spiral around the tree. Um, they're quite easy to make as well. So what you want to do is just bring that up. For example, you fill in this top section and um, then you go down here. You just kind of go down in like a spiral, like so. And then on the way back up, you just kind of fill it in like this. And then, uh, you know, link pieces of up and eventually you'll get like a spiral um, it's not too complicated there are many tree designs out there you can use or you know uh, look up and get some inspiration on or you might even see something in real life you could want to take inspiration from so it's really up to you and then one uh, over here is just a lamppost design so there's this one it's pretty cool there are so many lamppost designs in the game as uh, there are pretty much everything now Minecraft's been out for a very long time uh, but to create this you just sneak place these on the barrel obviously if you can't use a barrel because uh, you're on bedrock and you can't place the trap doors against it then uh, use something that you can um, because the barrel will just keep opening. But yeah, you create something like this. Here's some cool stuff. Get a berry on top. And you're going to get the trap doors. Place them on this side, this side. Get a stair here and here. Uh, place a, like, just a placeholder block for now. Place the trap door on here. Break those. And this will only work on Java because you can only sneak place chains on trap doors, um, I believe. So there we are, you can sneak place those. If you can't use those, feel free to kind of make a design where you can use like slabs and you can place things on slabs because placing something on a trapdoor and bedrock generally just opens the trapdoor. You don't have the option to, you know, go against that. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I've got here to show you. I'm just gonna head over to this section and show you like kind of what it ha what can kind of come out if you use a lot of these. Um, for example, right here, I basically took everything from there and kind of implied it into this one long section. Now, as you can see here, from the sides, it isn't finished. But if you look on the inside, you've got this long path. You've got these walls up against the side. So coming in, it looks really natural and cool. Maybe like you're in a, like a giant ravine or something in between two mountains. You kind of stroll down your path. If you're using copper like I am, make sure they are waxed. They will um, oxidize and change color. Um, so yeah, walk straight through. You know, on the side, we've got things like hay, uh, custom trees, a few of those barrels and things just look like they've been left around obviously don't flood your world with the same things like just flooding of hay and barrels because it will look boring and um it will just look random you need some sort of purpose so feel free to kind of um give your builds a bit of lore kind of story behind them but yeah hopefully this video has kind of helped give you some inspiration um anyone who has kind of been around on my channel for a while will know i do these general videos of like helping you guys kind of improve to build your building etc and even show you some of my builds um, and it's been a while since I've uploaded I've been just so busy recently and I'm still trying to keep my content up and fresh for you guys so yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying me posting every so often <laughs> it is getting a bit uh, progressively slower but I will try to get back up to the um, two two videos per week but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you all soon peace